Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah and welcome to Living Muslim. Alhamdulillah, we are still in the blessed month of Ramadan. The month of Ramadan is not only about fasting. Rather, the month of Ramadan is just as important when it comes to the recitation of the Qur'an, your relationship with the Qur'an. Alhamdulillah, joining me today in the studio, I have two very beautiful and very inspiring brothers, Brother Ali and Brother Jamal, who believe it or not, they actually memorized the whole book. That's right, there wasn't a mistake in my words. They memorized the whole Qur'an from cover to cover in Australia. Now we know that there are people around the world that have memorized it, but these two in specific actually memorized the book of Allah. They memorized the whole Qur'an while living in Australia. These are guys were born, raised, have, you know, they did everything that you and I do, but they managed to memorize the book of Allah. Jamal, what are your thoughts on this, you know, um, the fact that he had Arabic to begin with? Is the Qur'an only for Arabs? Well, I don't think anyone can deny that Arabic uh, does give you a, a really good head start um, in terms of being able to memorize. Um, but at the same time, I mean, I've had experience in competitions overseas uh, where I've seen, you know, people from Central Asia, people from the Balkans, uh, from Africa, all being able to memorize the Qur'an and, and do so, you know, without um, too many mistakes, you know, that actually uh, be able to read the Qur'an quite fluently and, and mistakes would be at, at a minimum. So th these, these are guys that are non-Arabs who live in non-Arab countries and yet still, still come to memorize the whole book. Exactly. And, and many of them would be in their, um, in their teens or even about 10 years old, you know, so, you know, it's not like they spent, you know, decades just trying to memorize. Because you have to yourself, uh, the idea of memorizing the Qur'an is a beautiful one. And, you know, I've mixed with lots of people, we, you know, we've sat down and spoken about memorizing. But when it comes to the implementation of it, it's a different ball game. Yani, even I know for myself, I've sat down many times and said, yeah, this is it. And, you know, I've cracked my with Surat Al-Baqarah and here comes the first five. I get it in there. But when I turn the page over, I almost have a heart attack. And then uh, very easily I give up. I wanted to ask, what are some of the challenges? What are some of the things you go through in memorizing the Qur'an? Yeah, Muhammad, um, memorizing the Qur'an isn't an easy thing in itself. Okay, it does take a lot of time, it does take a lot of effort, it does take a lot of motivation. So from the beginning, you're going to have to have something there that's going to help you memorize all the time. So you're going to have something that's going to keep you motivated. Um, one of the things as well is to stay committed. Keep things super simple. Don't harden the memorization upon yourself. How, how else can we overcome some of these challenges? Um, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَاسْتَعِينُوا بِالصَّبْرِ وَالصَّلَةِ so Allah subhanahu and that's one of my favorite ayat. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and seek help in patience and in prayer and in salah. So read what you are memorizing in salah. It helps you memorize. It helps you strengthen your recitation. Have patience because it's not easy. It's not like a walk in the park. It takes time. I memorized the Quran over six years, for example. It's not like I memorized it. Six years and this was with your schooling and this, this was... This was juggling everything. It wasn't like I opened the Qur'an one night and the next day I had it under, you know, done and Within your six years though, Ali, I want to ask, was the Qur'an a priority or did you do this in spare time? Well, uh, it was a bit of both. It was a bit of both. Like I said, I set myself a program. I would memorize twice a week. Like, that's with juggling, you know, my studies as a 11-year-old boy up until I finished school, HSC. Set myself a program and I didn't go too much over and too much under and I stayed consistent. That's the best way to do anything. Jamal, what are some of the things that you did while, while trying to memorize? Um, how did you, you know, how, how did you tackle some of your challenges? Yeah, well, um, my own journey began uh, when I was about two years and eight months. I mean, that's, of course, you know, um, the favor returns to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, firstly, and to my parents, secondly. And in particular, my mom. Um, I think many sisters will be familiar with uh, um Jamal, who gives lessons to um, to sisters. Uh, she's actually a revert um, to Islam. Uh, she converted, um, I think, in her teens. So your mother's a revert and you yeah. started your memorization mm. at two years and eight months. Yeah, I mean, that's just with, you know, the very small sort of, so we're talking about, you know, قُلْ هُلَ وَحَدْ قُلْ أَعُوذُ بِرَبِّ الْفَلَقْ قُلْ أَعُوذُ بِرَبِّ النَّاسِ and so What do you forth. mean the small sort of? These are the ones I'm still on. <laughs> Yeah. Wow. So, so you started these at such a young age mm. and then your journey sort of really kicked off from there. Mm. Jamal, I want to ask, I mean, after reading the Quran so much and I was having a chat with you before, you said to me within the first three days of Ramadan, mm. you've read the whole Quran in three days. I didn't want to mention so, that. I mean, it's just, <laughs> yeah, I know. But yeah. wow, like that's, yeah. Yeah, that, that, that's really amazing. Um, mm. You know, as you read, 
Do you have a favorite verse? And if so, can we hear it from you, please? Sure. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In the Ladina Yetluna Kitab Allah, he were a Kamus Salata, were Anfakumim Marazakona, whom Siro were a Laniate Yerujuna Tijara Yerujuna Tijara Telentabur. Wow, MashaAllah. M. Jamal, you must be very, very proud with a very fine product. Wow, mashallah, that's uh, very, very nice to hear. Mm -hmm. Ali, what about yourself? Do you have a favorite? Um, favorite is a lot. It's a bit difficult. Know, it's a bit I difficult know it's very pick. hard to sort of uh, narrow it down. But when I ask you, let's say I was to ask you now, what's your favorite verse? What's the first thing that comes to your mind? Um, five, minute ago, five minutes ago would have been something different to now. Um, <laughs> SubhanAllah. Uh, the one I just mentioned, for example. Can we hear yeah. it from you, please? وَاسْتَعِينُوا بِالصَّبْرِ وَالصَّلَاةِ وَإِنَّهَا لَكَبِيرَةٌ إِلَّا عَلَى الْخَاشِعِينَ الَّذِينَ يَظُنُّونَ أَنَّهُمْ مُلَاقُوا رَبِّهِمْ وَأَنَّهُمْ إِلَيْهِ رَاجِعُونَ MashaAllah. Well, guys, thank you guys so much for joining us here in the studio. Wallahi, it's very nice. It's very inspiring to hear, you know, that you guys actually accomplished memorizing the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So bringing this back to you and I, brothers and sisters back home, it is doable. So there's no excuses. Don't give me, look, I'm, you know, I'm not an Arab. I come from this country. Mm -hmm. You know, for myself, I'm learning Arabic. So I'm still at the Alif Bata stages, guys, mm -hmm. right? I'm learning Arabic. And Wallahi, the guys that are leading the class, they're non-Arabs. Mm -hmm. Guys from Afghanistan and Pakistan and India, these guys are non-Arabs and mm -hmm. they're ahead of the game. So it is doable, it is achievable. And more than that, you know, more than that, you know, for myself, you know, Brother Jamal was speaking about his mother and how his mother was a big influence. You know, the greatest reward that you and I can ever give to our parents is memorizing the book of Allah. On the day of resurrection, you know, when everyone will be resurrected, naked, uncir you know, naked, uncircumcised, barefooted, the parents of those people that memorize the Qur'an that will be given cloaks like royalty, a garment. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will put a crown on their heads. So, you know, wallahi, what a, what a fantastic gift to give back to our parents, those people who made such an effort. And speaking of parents, Ali, we had a very nice, uh, nice get-together with your mother earlier today. Uh, we wanted to make this as a surprise for you and as a thank you for coming on to the show. Um, we actually um, asked your mother as to how she felt about you and about you memorizing the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mm. and uh, this is what she had to say. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Sister Ibtihaj, uh, thank you very much for coming on set. We understand um, it's Ramadan and you have a tight schedule. Uh, we're very grateful. Thank you for coming on. Wa alaikum assalamu wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you for having me either. Thank you. Uh, Sister Ibtihaj, Ali doesn't know you're here. And we want to surprise him. I need you to look into the camera and tell him how you feel. Ali, I love you so much. You know, I've always told you that you are my eyes that I see in. You? <laughs> Ali, you are the eyes that I see in. You and your brothers and your sisters. I love you very much. Inshallah, you'll be good in this dunya and you'll be good in the hereafter. And I know you're a good role model for all the ummah out here. And Luqman, and Safi and Aisha, and all of them. All my kids, alhamdulillah, Rabbil, I'm very good. And I love all my children very much. They, there's not one special more than the other. But Ali is my life for and him and Luqman. They are, they are the eyes I see because they are a good role model for the community. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives them a good life. I love you very much. Um. You know, my mum's the reason why I started memorizing Quran, and um, I just want to say, Mum, I love you too. May um, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala give you the highest of Jannah, and make you know only for Dasal Allah, Inshallah, and make your neighbors of the Prophet in Jannah. Mm. Oh, and likewise for my, for my that mom, is beautiful. Inshallah. Well, look, guys, Wallahi, I want to thank the both of you very much, and I ask Allah Subhanahu wa Taala to bless both your parents, both your mothers, both your fathers, for doing such a great job and being such an inspiration to you guys memorizing the Qur'an, I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that all of our parents, or those people that are going to become parents, 
to also be as influential. And once again, my brothers and sisters, please make an effort in this blessed month of Ramadan. You know, don't think whole Quran. You know, think something basic, something that you can achieve. Thank you all so very much. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you. And on this, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum wa barakatuh.